open and we are going to be customizing another horse. Well, you probably noticed this is not a horse. This is a unicorn, but her horn is a little bent here as you can tell. So I will be removing it, so sorry to any of those unicorn fans out there. Just to let you know, I do not unbelieve in unicorns because lots of animals today do have horns, so why not a horse? But I will be customizing her to look like a horse. So I'm going to go ahead and remove her horn, so I'll see you all in the next clip. One more thing, she is not from Schlick. After a little while, I eventually got her horn off. Then I used some wood filler to make her a new forelock. I also used a toothpick to make the lines. Okay, now I officially have this girl all ready to paint. She is all primed. So now I'm going to show you all the craft supplies I'm going to be using. I will be using Apple Barrel acrylic paint. I will be using the color blue cotton, jet black, white, and then I'll also be using matte varnish and clear fingernail polish. A bowl of water, paint brushes sizes three and six, a pencil, a toothpick, something to put your paint on, something to cover your surface with, and something to tap your paintbrush off when you're switching paint colors. Last, but certainly not least, the model horse you'll be painting. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, to get started on this beautiful girl, I'm going to go ahead and draw on her markings with a pencil. While I do that, I'm going to show you my concept art I put in my doodle book. Also, a few photos of real horses that gave me the idea of her markings. Okay, so I now have her markings all drawn on. I'm super sorry if you can't see the pencil lines. And to just let you know, the concept art was just for me to kind of have an idea on where I kind of wanted all her markings to go. So now that I have all her markings drawn on, I'm gonna get painting. So I'll see you there. is all done now so next thing we are going to do is we are going to paint her mane and her tail her mane will be a light gray as well as her frog and her tail but about right here there will be some lovely black streaks in it so it's going to be very nice so i'm going to go ahead and get started on painting her mane and her tail This is how her mane and her tail turned out. I am super sorry I didn't film painting her mane, but it was just so tedious and so hard for me to do it while filming. But this is how it turned out. So now I'm gonna go ahead and paint her hooves, paint her eyes, and I'm also going to paint seal her. So I'll be right back once all that's done. Okay, and my pretty girl here is officially 100% done. I think she turned out absolutely amazing. I did add some fun little detailing on her muzzle there. I got her eyes all done, and so she is 100% done. So if you like her, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell. It means a lot. 
Also, don't forget to leave a like if you like her as well. And come on over to my Instagram at Christian Pony Lover, where you'll see some fun, cute pictures of her. See you all next time. Bye! And if you're all wondering what her name is, it is Gabby. So, welcome Gabby to my lovely little family.